Now, once we're happy with our spec, but before we start coding anything, we'll run the create tasks command, which gives us a clear trackable roadmap for implementation. This lives in tasks.md, where tasks are broken down, grouped up, and laid out in a logical order for development. So we've done that critical upfront planning, we've written up our spec, we've mapped out a clear list of tasks for implementation, now we're ready to push forward with having our agents start coding our feature with the full confidence that they're gonna get it right and that they're gonna build it according to our standards. Now there are two different commands to choose from when it comes to implementing your specs with Agent OS. You can run implement tasks or orchestrate tasks. What's the difference? Well, implement tasks is simpler and it works great for small to medium sized builds where a single agent will knock out your task list. You can have it build out all your task groups in one shot or you can take it step by step. Orchestrate tasks is a more advanced approach that lets you orchestrate multiple agents to build out a large or complex feature. If you're using Claude code, this gives you an easy way to delegate task groups to specialized sub-agents. Or if you're using any other coding tool, orchestrate tasks will generate targeted prompts with your standards injected into them for executing each set of tasks for this feature. So you can go ahead and use Agent OS for free by going to buildermethods.com slash agent OS. That's where you'll find detailed documentation on every aspect of the system.